Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I want to share top five must have apps for your Android smartphone. I use these apps on a daily basis, they enhance the use of my smartphone in various ways. So, I would like to share them all with you. Let's dive in and discover. Now, before we dive in, if you do own a smartphone, make sure to hit that subscribe button to subscribe to Saki Tech. And of course, make sure to click that notifications bell icon as well to make sure you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. All right, so the first app that I want to talk about is called the Dub Music Player. And this is a fantastic looking little music player. Now, when you launch it, uh, what you're going to get in the first place, it's going to have a little retro look. But as soon as you start to actually play a music, you're going to see that it's going to have this nice equalizer. So as your music plays, this equalizer responds to the pattern of the music. So it looks absolutely gorgeous. Now, other things you can do, you can control the volume from here, just like that. I believe Okay. So. And then you can uh, pause the music here. And there's also a bunch of other options you can play with. You can actually play with the equalizer. So if you go over here, you have a really nice looking equalizer with the uh, bass boost functionality, and also the virtualizer. And if you go back here, you know, let's keep playing this. Uh, you can tap this icon here. You can go to audio effects. And from here, you have five different effects you can play with. You can play with the pitch, the speed of the music, the balance, and the loudness. So if you tap any one of these, it brings up one of these menus. From there, you can tweak these individual settings. Now, of course, there's much more to this uh, player than just what I showed you guys, but I want you to go and download it. It's free to grab and just play with all the options. The bottom line is it looks really nice and has a fantastic little animation. All right, so let's move on to the next app. Again, this is the Dub Music Player. It's free to grab at the Play Store. All right, so when it comes to generating wallpapers, this next application is my all-time favorite. I've been using it for a while, and it's called Tape It. So let's go right inside, and there's a couple things about this application that makes it exceedingly unique. Now, the first thing is uh, Tape It actually never downloads a photo or a wallpaper from the internet. Everything is generated in real time within the application. So even this wallpaper that I'm using right now was uh, generated using the Tape It app. When you're inside the application, there's a couple things you can do. Uh, here's one thing you can do. Uh, you can swipe up and that will generate a new wallpaper on the fly. So as you can see, we have a brand new pattern. If you uh, swipe up one more time, it gives you a brand new pattern. It changes the colors and everything. I can keep going uh, for a long time. If you go back, it goes to the previous wallpaper that you may have just missed. And then of course, you can tap on this color palette and you can change the color of a given uh, pattern on the fly. So I can actually have this color. Uh, if I want something more greenish, I can go here and I can pick the, uh, the green color and that's gonna give me the, uh, the green color palette options. And of course, I can keep going through all these different wallpapers. Now, just like you can tap the actual color palette, you can also tap on the pattern uh, selector. So, so if I press this pattern button here, it's gonna take me to the pattern selector and you have a lot of patterns to choose from uh, that are pre-generated for you. Some of these are premium ones. I already purchased this one. Now, Tape It is free to get, and you will get access to a lot of different patterns. But if you want access to the premium patterns, you do have to pay uh, $2.99, even though it is not necessary to have a great experience. You can choose the patterns, and you can choose the color scheme as you please. So I can go in here, and I can go down. Let's say I want to pick... Um, Let's just say I want to pick this one right here. I can tap on this guy. It's going to load that pattern and then I can go inside. After it is loaded, I can go to the color palette and I can pick any color that I want. I can go with the greenish. And uh, on top of that, I can also swipe left or right. So if I swipe this way to the right, it changes the color. It just randomly picks a color for you. So it's just too much fun to play with this thing. And if you swipe to the other side, it changes, it keeps the colors but it changes the pattern. So if I swipe this way, it's gonna change the colors, but the pattern remains. But if I swipe to the left, it's gonna change the pattern, but it's gonna to try to keep that color scheme that you had on the previous wallpaper. Now, once you're ready to pick a wallpaper, you tap this guy and it takes, uh, it applies that wallpaper to the background. Now, mine is right now this one, that's the one I chose using Tape It. 
But if you go back to tape it, there's so much more you can do. Uh, there's buttons everywhere you can press and you can do all kinds of options. You can also add a wallpaper to your favorite so you never lose it. And if you tap over here, uh, you have a bunch of options. Now, as you can see, you have a premium selection here. You can buy it if you want, $2.99. You get some extra patterns. But like I said, you don't have to. All right? But it's a really uh, fantastic little tool uh, that generates wallpapers on the fly and creates nice looking things just like this over here. All right, so the next app I want to talk about is called the Recolor app. Now, this app is great for killing time. Basically, it is a coloring app for your smartphone. Once you launch it, it's also free to grab, by the way. Uh, you get access to all these beautiful little images that you can actually start to color. So you have the free ones, obviously. Uh, you can purchase more advanced ones. But let's just talk about a free one for a minute. So you launch the application, you're bored, and you want to do some coloring. What you can do is you can pick any one of these guys, and then you can go and you can start to color it as you please. You can zoom in and zoom out. So let's say that you want to give a color to her lips over here. You can pick a color that you want right here. You tap right there, and it colors the, uh, the lips. Uh, you can come over here. You can choose blue for the eyes, and then you have blue eyes. Okay? And you can also always fix it. So if you, don't, if you want to undo something and always undo it, you can just tap like that. So it will go back. And then you can also give her a skin color. So after you're done, you can save it. You can share it with your friends and everything. But again, the bottom line is it's here to have fun. You have all these options that you can play with. Look at all these beautiful images uh, that you can color day and night if you are bored. Maybe it's even more fun than playing a game. Uh, you have recommended ones, you have popular ones, you have 3D ones, animals, birds, bouquets. You have so many options. So you have all these wonderful options, okay? Again, it's free to have. As you can see, it's got ads, so it's not a big deal. When you're actually interacting with a, with a picture, uh, the ads are not going to appear. And if a picture actually is something that is not free, it's going to ask you to actually subscribe. But uh, we can go over here to the free section, and you have all these free photos to play with. Uh, to color. All right, let's tap this one more time here. Downloading, and as you can see, I can color this any way that I want. Looks like fun. All right, so that's the recolor application, free to grab. And of course, there's other things you can do at the bottom here. You can actually explore what other people have done. So somebody just grabbed this picture here and they colored it, and now it looks like that. So these are the possibilities uh, you can achieve. Uh, if you spend your time on this, then you can actually go over here. These are the ones that you made yourself. And if you go over here, uh, you can actually sign in and create a gallery so everybody else in the world that uses this app can also see what you're up to. All right, so let's move on to the next application. The next application is called the Wallpaper HD. Now, I talked about Tape It. Tape It generates wallpapers based on patterns. Uh, Wallpaper HD is a very simple app. You launch it and you access high definition wallpapers. You can uh, browse by categories. You have all these categories, uh, you know, vehicles, landscapes, designs, girls, abstract, space, animals, whatever. You can go to live wallpapers if you want to. Uh, you can go to the ones that were just added and you can also access the popular ones. One thing I like is if you do pick one of these uh, wallpapers, let's go over here for a minute. Uh, let's just pick uh, this one here. And what you can do is if you tap on it, it expands and you can then kind of um, uh, preview exactly how you can uh, put that photo onto your uh, home screen. So I can have this photo looking just like this on the home screen. And when you're ready, you tap this icon here, it downloads it for you. But that's it. It's a very simple app and I do like simple apps that are to the point and easy to use. Okay, so that's called Wallpaper HD. It's free. Uh, you do have some options with it. If you tap over here, it gives you a bunch of options. You can come and take a look at it after you download it. And finally, let's talk about the last application. This is a very, very useful tool. It's called Smart Tools. It's not free, so you're going to have to go download it. Uh, there, there are some free versions of it that comes in parts, but if you want the full package, this is the one you get. Uh, basically, you get access to a bunch of very useful tools. You get rulers, you get unit converters, uh, distance calculators, sound uh, measuring tools, compasses, and lights.
For example, if I go to this one over here, uh, it gives me access to a flashlight. And if I tap on this one, that's going to give me access to a uh, magnification tool. And on the compass side, I can tap this here. I get access to a compass over here. I can also tap this tool. This is another tool. It's not a compass. It's a metal detector. Okay, so you have all these nice things in the smart tools. Uh, I can tap on this here, and I get access to a level, as you can see, a very advanced level. And I can also tap, let me fix the orientation. I can also tap this guy here, and that's going to measure the loudness of my voice. So you can take this anywhere outside, and it will actually uh, measure the loudness of any sound source. And then you also have this thing here that also does similar things. All righty. And that's smart tools, not free. You could get individual of these tools uh, made by the same company for free if you search on the Play Store. But if you want the total package, you just have to pay a little bit and you get access to all these uh, beautiful little tools, such as this ruler. Okay, so that was the last app. All right, so thank you very much for watching this video, guys. Make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech for more app videos to come. And of course, give this video a big thumbs up. Do not forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Saki Tech Online. Have a fantastic day, and if you do have any questions, comments, concerns, just drop them down below.